check this. I am shocked that in the Christian rap community, there's not more controversy over this. So there's this Christian rapper who's been uh, kind of popping off for the past few years. And his name is Zanti. He's a very popular uh, Christian rapper. Uh, he recently uh, actually got signed with Atlantic uh, Records. And yeah, this is him posing with all the homies. Kind of cool, kind of cool. Uh, but I will say, there's some things that have been like kind of off about him. And, and you know, one one report that I've heard, I'm not going to like go on the record about it because it's been like kind of behind the scenes. But, you know, this is the music that he makes. I'm so hungry, I can't stop. I know my mama ain't raised no quitter. On a straight path to the top. Plus, my people, they all coming with me. I'm too serious about this vision. I can't hear that talk, don't listen. I'm gonna never let your opinions go and impact my decisions. I'm so hungry, I can't stop. I know my mama ain't raised no quitter. On a straight path to the top. Plus, my people, they all coming with me. I'm too serious about this vision. I can't hear that talk, don't listen. I'm gonna never let those opinions go and impact my decisions. I'm too hungry, I can't So. I mean, I'm not going to be gratuitous in, in playing the song for you, but, you know, his, his music sounds pretty good. Um, the, the, the beats are fire. Um, he's got very good rapping skill. Um, however, some things about the social media just seem a little bit off, right? And by the way, I'm not going to say that this is, like, indicative of his, his character or whatever. I'm just saying this is just a bit odd for a, a Christian rapper to use he, he took some pictures and all this stuff is fine right like he's just like hanging out with these with these folks um no, nothing wrong with that at all however the one thing that stood out to me uh and i guess like this also stood out to me like because he recently when basically scrubbed all the social medias and his title is now like god's superstar which like I kind of can get what you're what you're trying to say if you're like, oh, like I'm trying to be a superstar for God, but like to me to call yourself a superstar is like a little bit prideful. So to call yourself God's superstar is like seems like kind of weird. I don't know. And and, and that's like a small thing too. Like I'm I'm not not trying to nitpick, but I'm just saying that does seem a bit strange to me. But not 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 necessarily just that, but this is the main, uh, I think, catalyst for a lot of criticism that Zanti's been getting uh, lately. That man, boy, man, it's king of things right here. You know, God's superstar. This will be the biggest superstar of 2024. That's how I do it. Work God first, yeah. Hard work God first, yeah. Hard work God first, yeah. To the day I'm in the dirt, yeah. Jesus Christ is Lord, yeah. I know who I serve, yeah. So I so and, and it's easy to understand from a Christian perspective why this just comes off as so strange. We we have this Christian rapper who, you know, in the in the, in the song itself that's playing in the background is 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 uh saying God first. But the whole video, he's just kind of like flexing. And it's not necessarily just about the flexing. Because flexing, not like the worst thing in the world to be like, hey, look, my car is nice, right? And and he's not particularly gratuitous from his flexing from what I can understand. Although I, I did notice that he had another video on his socials, which he, I think, relatively recently took down, where he was getting his like uh, face plastered up on some like uh, hallway in like a, a a label's office and kind of like making a a, a big deal about that and i'm like that's, that's kind of cool but part of me was also like you know i'm sure that lecrae some, like lecrae has, has gone through similar things and i have never seen a video of lecrae walking around social media like oh hey look they put a picture of me up on the wall like I, i've never seen that type of behavior from lecrae um, but it's not just about him making this video being like oh look i've got gold chains because you've seen christian rappers like go out with gold chains too but part of it is the whole point of this video is like look i've got a gold chain where like generally christian rappers don't make that the point of the video um but also like there's a bit of bragging here about the fact that this is all genuine like he's at like a legit jeweler's uh spot you know, getting these this crazy bling. And, and I'm going to say this, low-key, if you're getting, like, 
a gold chain or diamond necklace or something that's like legitimate to me that's that's relative i'm not gonna i feel like this is strong to say but i feel like that's dumber than getting something that's like cheap that like looks like that unless like you know something you're gonna wear a lot and you know you don't want it to get all green or whatever but at the same time like that's a lot of money to spend on something that's like merely cosmetic and you know some i've heard i've heard multiple pastors before say like you know you your your checkbook will show you like kind of like where your heart is and so this dude is spending probably like thousands if not tens of thousand dollars on jewelry and stuff and that's fine if if he wants to go do that there's nothing inherently wrong with it but it just seems strange that it's something that he is promoting so actively on his social media you do not generally see like christians doing that on social media at all unless they're like prosperity gospel preachers or something uh, and now this tweet did not get much traction as you can see it only has like 1.7 uh thousand views on twitter but it kind of blew up on Instagram and maybe it's not all going to load. Yeah. It's not all going to load. Cause I'm not, I'm not logged in on the web, but there was a lot of criticism uh, of, of him for, for doing this because we've got this Christian prancing around a jeweler being like, Oh, look, I got my, my grills and I got my silver teeth and I got my big fat chain. And you know, again, if you want, if this is something that he wants to do, there's nothing inherently wrong with that, but it just doesn't really seem like like a godly way to behave. Um, like he could he could like go out and be like doing like either serving or putting that money towards other ministries. Like there's no hate if you if you don't like go out and physically serve, but instead you like send your money to like charities or to specific causes or to help certain communities. And maybe Zanti does that in the background. I know that there are, are plenty of public figures who they send money to private causes, but they don't want to get recognition for it or they don't want to boast about it. But to me, it's like, I don't know, man. So Something about this just doesn't really seem right. I'm not going to call Zanti a materialist. I'm not going to call him idolatrous. I'm not going to call him names or say that he's he's a fake Christian or that he needs a heart change or anything like that. Um, I'm just saying that this seems a bit odd because I also it annoys me to no end too when people will go to artists like Lecrae and all these other people and be like, oh, he's demonic because he hung, he hung out with P. Diddy one time at a, at a gathering in somebody's house. Like, no, like, like I'm not going to go off the deep end on that, but I am going to say something seems a bit odd here. And, and I think that, you know, it's naive to say that there's nothing about this that looks that looks strange for a Christian to do. Um, so I don't know, you know, if Zanti sees this video, I'm not accusing you of anything at all. I'm just saying that, you know, for social media of a professing Christian rapper, this is not uh, a particularly good look. If you're doing things beyond behind the scenes that are like righteous, that are like helping people um, beyond, like I've seen you post praying videos, but I mean like beyond that, like actually like helping uh, communities um, in a way where, you can't like browse the social media account and get the impression that all you're doing is praying with some people outside on the sidewalk in the middle of the night and then going and buying gold chains. Like terrible impression to make as a Christian. It, it makes Christian rappers look bad too. So, you know, if you're doing some things behind the scenes, don't boast and brag about them, but maybe kind of mention, Hey, you know, I give money to this charity or this church or whatever. Um, not in a way to flex, but also not to make it seem like all you do is buy, buy grills and, and silver teeth. Because that just, yeah, it don't look right. It don't look right.